people. I mean, there's just, there's huge amounts of waste everywhere. everywhere. People throw away the craziest stuff. Just leave it on the streets and then we know about all these other hookups and like buildings that we'll see eventually and be like, I'm gonna pick up all this stuff because I know I'll use it eventually or somebody else I know will like it. I'm kind of in opposite mode where like I don't have space or anywhere. And so the stuff that I find, I'm like more and more just putting it into immediate use. It's like, pick it up and like, what am I gonna do with that? Like, and immediately like solve that problem. Whatever you want to build, you can, and pretty much for free, if you just work or like put the time in. We did have a few conversations at the beginning just about how to sort of like lay out the things that we had already brought and how the room would kind of be constructed on the larger like every morning we would sort of rehab that conversation and then for the rest of the day we we would talk very little and we would just sort of make all day and like I don't know I just kind of felt that it was going to end up being one of those things where we all sort of just brought our own creations and then we just kind of layered them all together into something like this tapestry of you know materials and parts and chaos we just kind of started out going to every single thrift store or at least i did and got like tons of blankets and lace and um and then we kind of just drove around and looked for dumpsters that friends knew about and like scavenged wood from like people's yards that they were throwing out. And then Ben and Callie brought up a good amount of Dirt. crazy pieces of buildings. Yeah, we brought up like a truckload of uh, rusty metal and burned rotten wood flooring, windows and door frames and what else? Corroded wires, very much embracing the decay. I just started making all these like fox face headdresses and like war bonnets that I would end up wearing anyway and just making them because it wasn't enough to just be drawing them. I wanted to feel them and be able to wear them and have see other people in them. And they change a lot based on who's wearing them and just like, and they're, I know like nobody's ever gonna buy this shit. It's just like, I just wanna see this on people that I love. It was kind of like dreamlike how I would just go and I would be like screwing something into something and I'd be like, oh, I need some screws. And I would go to get the screws and then I would see this thing that I had forgotten to continue painting and then I would start painting it. And then I would like be like, oh, I need some more of this paint, you know, color paint. And then I would go and see the staple gun and I'd be like, oh, I forgot to staple the cardboard. And then by the time I got back to the wood that I was screwing, somebody else had like started like adding their own thing and it was for me this like constant like swirling motion and never in total control of any one area and I think that that at first felt a little bit like you know like stole my breath and then as I let go the like swirling motion just like got bigger and bigger and, and so much more fun and so much more free. And Ben was talking about that when we were talking about how this crew came together and it was basically just as an extension of our lives. Like this is a group of people that work together all the time and are friends, you know, and so and so this process and who we are and how we got here is just an extension of our lives. And a huge excuse just to hang out. You know? It's really important to point out that it's like, for me, I was so excited to spend time with a lot of these people because like as good of friends as we are, we see each other so little, you know? So it's amazing just like being up here and being able to focus so intensely together. It's like family out. time. Yeah, total family time.
I think it really comes down to like love. Like I really believe that we all love each other and that there's no room in like our relationships with each other to like have hierarchy or egos ruin that, you know? And that like I feel like that's what hierarchy and egoism does is just like start to break down like the base, you know, care and respect for each other. None of this would have been possible without the extraordinary volunteer mm. help of Portland, Maine. Hours and hours. Hours and hours so every much. day. We wouldn't, we had, even with all of us working, even with six artists, we still needed so much help. And, and I think it just says something really special about Portland and about space and about this place that people were able to just be that giving and to like help this happen. I've always been so much more attracted to things that are accessible to everybody. I remember going up to Dia Beacon, which is like a minimalist, modernist museum, and there was this Dan Flavin piece that was like the entire length of this giant warehouse, and it was just like neon light after neon light after neon light. And if you walked around it, I found it to be pretty uninteresting. And so I took off my shoes and started running the full length of the piece which animated it for me, and um, it made it so alive, you know? And I, I feel like, you know, if I had created something like that, I would be really happy that somebody was activating it in that way, and immediately I was stopped by security. It always comes back to the same point that I'm way more interested in, like, communities and, like, you know, like a lot of different people being able to, like, access and enjoy and think about and look at things. I think that one thing that's important about this group of people is that all of us do author our own big projects at different times. We're a group of people who all understand and respect each other so much because we have all w helped each other realize our projects as well as been helped to, you know, that there's, we've sort of seen it go in all these different directions and seen what everyone is capable of and so it's really easy to work side by side because there's so much trust.